Welcome back, everybody, to an episode of the Cool Predictions on Reels Productions. How are you guys doing today, man? I'm your host, LL Cool Brad, back with another episode of the Cool Predictions. But before we get into this episode, uh, please like and subscribe. Let's get into it, man. So today, I'm going to be talking about Kyle Pitts, tight end from Florida, got drafted by the Falcons this just previous draft. Um, and we're going to take a look at why I think that he will have a breakout season, his rookie season on the Falcons, and do some amazing things. So let me give you a quick little rundown before I get into it. So first off, I'm going to read you all some of his stats from the previous season that he had in college at Florida. And then I'm going to go into some of his strengths and weaknesses and then go to his strength highlights and then close out the video. So I'm gonna we're going to go to the strengths and weaknesses part of this Cool Predictions episode on why I think Kyle Pitts will have a breakout season this season and as a, as a rookie. So let's get into it. Welcome, everybody, to the strengths, the toss, for the weaknesses part of this cool predictions episode on Kyle Pitts and why he'll have a breakout season in his rookie season. So, like I said, I'm going to read off some of the stats before we get into the strengths and the toss, for the weaknesses part of this cool predictions episode. So, let's get into it. So, last season at Florida, Kyle Pitts had 43 receptions for 770 yards, 17.9 average per catch, 12 touchdowns, which is pretty decent for a tight end because not a lot of tight ends usually are a lot of wide receiving uh tight ends and he made some of the most amazing catches that I've seen from tight ends in the last few years uh he's really acrobatic he can go up uh he, he's really physical too 6'6 246 um so that's definitely going to be the Falcons are really going to be surprised of what he can do I think this season a lot of Falcons fans I already know are excited about it so let's get into his strengths and we'll talk about his toss-up thing too so let's get into it. So he's very athletic. Like I said, he's 6'6", 246, and he runs like a 4'4", like 5", I think. Like, if you're running a 4'4", 5", at 246 pounds at 6'6", six six, that's pretty impressive. And then next, he has good speed. Like I just said, he runs like a 4'4", 5". Like, that's really good for a guy who's 6'6", 246. And then next, he has good acceleration. He's good at getting to his top speed as well. Uh, like I was saying earlier, he makes really acrobatic catches. He's able to go up. He's able to moss people. Uh, he's able to get 50-50 balls, bring those down. And then if the ball's behind him, like Kyle Trask, like he had a lot of throws that were behind last season that he threw behind, he was able to go back and get those as well. And then next, he has good concentration. That's part of how he's able to make those acrobatic catches is he has really good concentration, and that's what you have to have if you want to be a great wide receiver or tight end in the NFL. Um, and then next, he has good route running. His route running is nice. He's able to sell routes and get open. Um, that's one uh, thing about him as well. And like I was saying, he's very physical too. I don't know why I didn't put that on there, but he's very physical. And I think that helps him get open as well a lot of times. And then next, as a tight end quality, uh, you should be a good blocker always. I um, mean, he is. He's a, he's a really decent blocker. So that'll really help uh, the Falcons as well this season. And then last but not least, he has good field vision. He's able to see where his defenders are before he's trying to make a catch so he knows how he can man maneuver around them to get more yardage. Uh, but then for the toss-up, what I saw was he just had some drops last season. He just had a, quite a few drops last season. Um, and I don't know if that's a weakness, but that's just a concern because if you want to be good in the NFL, you got to just be able to hold on to the ball. So I think he's already working with that since he's going up against NFL defenses and practice and everything. We'll see him showcase all these things tonight. Um, I'm recording this the day of when they play. I believe it's the – who do they play? I think they play – the Panthers, right? Who do they play? They play. Give me one second. If they, they play, I want. Oh no, it's the Titans. The Titans. They play the Titans. So okay. So we're still gonna see that showcase tonight. Um, and that's gonna be something to look out for. I'm definitely gonna be watching that game, seeing what he's able to accomplish. But yeah, that's it for the strengths, toss up, and weaknesses part of this cool prediction episode on Kyle Pitts. Um, now we're gonna get into some strengths highlights, and then I'll wrap up the video. Let's go. Play action. And there he is, as you said, Kyle Pitts. First Gators touchdown of the season. Still provides that same type of matchup problem. Remember, one timeout in the back here. And you're not going to need it. Kyle Pitts scores it. We look over to the sideline as well as Trask made the call. A little bit of safety pressure as they bring Jones off the edge. Pierce picks it up. Trask downfield, and with that, here is Pitts. Run, young man, run. Touchdown, Gators. A lot that gets revealed 
when you get to this part of mid Saturday to the end zone. Did he hold on? Yes. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. You just love Kyle Pitts. I love you, Kyle Pitts. I want a Kyle Pitts jersey. I want a fat head of Kyle Pitts on my wall. Crash looking that way. Little back shoulder pass complete. He was working against J.C. Horn. Freshman from right here in Gainesville. Bootleg action. Complete Pitts. And got a great block touchdown. Trask on the slant. Touchdown again, Pitts. Peanut butter and jelly one more time. So third and goal. Trask. End zone shot. And Pitts got it. Touchdown. Two defenders right there. And Pitts able to rip it out of the air for the score. I tell you, it actually hit the ground. So you can't play more flawless so far. And he's going back to his top target. Over the shoulder catch by Kyle Pitts. At the Georgia 39. Tony in motion. They fake it to both of them. And now deep on the sideline for Pitts. And he makes a catch. Kyle Pitts, first and goal, Florida. And this guy is a matchup nightmare. Goes up. He's got the 25 of Georgia. Georgia with a blitz. Trask going to the end zone. Pitts, touchdown. My goodness. All player with tight ends in the NFL. To me, he's not. He reminds me of the Las Vegas Raiders' Darren Waller. Oh, yeah. The six foot six kind of hybrid wide receiver type. Has emerged this season as well in the backfield. He's got 151 yards on the ground coming into the game over the middle complete. There he is, Pitts. Room service. Welcome back, Kyle Pitts. The matchup they wanted, one on one coverage. You can't leave that guy open. That's a mismatch there with Kelvin Joseph, a corner in terms of size. And Trask found his guy 84 for the touch. Trask, Pitts. Touchdown, the remix. And he rocked the baby to sleep. That's a lonely island to be on. Mm. You're Brandon Eccles out Third there. down and five coming up. He's coming off the edge, didn't get there. Touchdown, Pitts. That's three for him today been a big-time weapon, particularly down in the red zone. Look at him sell the inside route, mm. get the defender corner. The second half. Thank you, Jenny. Trask into Pitts' hands again. Kyle to Kyle, and Pitts goes rolling. Burrell finally shoves him out. But uh, a credit to director Andy Friedman there. Pitts, oh, what a grab. What a great grab by Kyle Pitts going up to get. You know, the ball placement from Trask is phenomenal, but this catch, I mean, this this is what has NFL scouts actually drooling after him. And this is why I think the kid could be easily a top 10 pick in the. Better off putting. Unless you can do that to Pitts for the first down. <laughs> pick up a 20 in motion. Trask going to go deep. And he's got his man, and it's Pitts. First down, Florida at the 37 of Alabama. The Alabama defense. He's inside. He reads the double zone. He's got a linebacker on him. In here. They need to get to the 16-yard line for a first down. Trask crossing route. Got it to Pitts. Pitts is still running. Pitts is almost in at the one-yard line. Alabama blitz that time. Tenth play of the Florida drive. They need to score pretty quickly with only two timeouts left. Trask going to the end zone. Pitts has got it. Touchdown, Florida. It's not over yet. Welcome back, everybody, to the end of this cool predictions episode on Kyle Pitts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I really am excited to watch and play at night against the Titans. Uh, that's definitely going to be a good game to see what he's able to do at 6'6", 246 again. Like, that's an incredible size, and he runs he runs really fast for that size as well. So I'm really excited to see his athleticism, what he's able to bring to the Falcons tonight. 
Um, so, but yeah, guys, if you have not already, please like and subscribe and comment what you think that, uh, if you think that Kyle Pitts will have a breakout season in his first season, I personally do, or why you think he will. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the Cool Predictions episode. I'm your host, Ella Cool Brad, signing off. We out.